Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watcha! Against my better judgment, I am heading to Magic Kingdom on Labor Day weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be a good time. I went to Universal on Saturday and it was really, really busy and it got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? I wanna see how Disney is doing. Disney is doing a park pass reservation system versus I think kind of the chaos of Universal and it being really, really busy or at least feeling really, really busy was the fact that there was not a reservation system in place. And you know, without getting into it too much, obviously there are differences between the two types of systems, but I wanna see what it's like at Disney World with this reservation system. How many people are they really letting into the park? So yeah, short and sweet and simple, we're here. Labor Day weekend, let's see how busy it really is, especially since they're using the park pass system to control crowds. Let's see how many people they're choosing to let in. All right, still getting one whole monorail cabin to myself. Okay, they could have maybe let in one more group. I wouldn't have minded. <laughs> hmm, looks busy, maybe not, I don't know. There is a little bit of a long guest relations line. That's usually how I can tell if things are busy or not. <laughs> the more problems people have, the busier it might be in the park. They get the trolley out, taking people around. Who are they taking around? Oh, it's the Winnie the Pooh gang. Eeyore, Piglet, Rabbit. Hey, hey, how you doing? Cool. And all my criticism aside, and all my thoughts of someone who comes here all the time, and la 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 favorite parks and stuff like that, there's a feeling that cannot be replicated, and it only exists here in the Magic Kingdom, and it is when you finally look down the street for the first time and see the castle down Main Street. Like, mwah. It's awesome. So this is what it looks like at 12 o'clock, right at the entrance of Magic Kingdom. It feels quieter, and I think having this quietness right off the bat helps people ease into it a little bit more, be more relaxed. So it's not a bad look. It's not a bad look, I don't think. Let's see, wait times, honestly, aren't that bad? You know, like the longest wait time is, let's see, it's 55 minutes for Splash Mountain. You know, go figure, it's a water ride, it's hot, but like, it's not like two hours or anything like that. It's very manageable, I think. I enjoy seeing all the uh, 2020 merchandise here. It's all buy one, get one. Yeah, uh, it turns out no one wants anything with 2020 on it. No one wants to be reminded of this terrible, terrible year. You know, it's a, it's a strange feeling. I'm, I'm feeling optimistic about my time here. I'm feeling like, I can actually ride some rides and enjoy the park versus just film how crowded everything is? Huh, weird. What a weird concept. But we'll go with the feeling and we'll uh, have some fun here at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> I am so difficult. I always talk about like not liking Magic Kingdom, but the second I get here and see everything and start feeling the vibes, I'm like, you know what? This place isn't so bad and it's not so bad. And I think we're gonna have a pretty fun, interesting day to see how things are like on Labor Day itself, Monday. So it definitely feels a little more crowded once you leave Main Street and the hub. Go figure. I ordered some food from the mobile order. They have a Halloween exclusive burger at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe that they're serving now and it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna get that as soon as I can but I've got a little bit of window of time before it's time to get my order set up. So we're gonna try and go on a ride that I haven't been on in a while. We are doing the Tomorrowland Speedway, baby. And I think we got car number one Let's go! Woo! <laughs> we got car number one, which means, well, we're number one. All right, so the real reason I wanted to do the speedway is I wanted to see the Tron construction and see what we can see from this angle. What a, oh, gosh, these cars are not easy to drive. What a pretty view of the castle. There it is, look at that, wow. Man, people, okay, man, people on the speedway 
are gonna get a really good view of this ride. But look at it, it's right there. I'm like right next to it. Let's see if we can zoom in. Ooh. Oh, I'm trying to zoom in. Oh, okay. I can't do this. Oh yeah. Cruising, driving down the road. Cruising USA, Tomorrowland Speedway. <laughs> well, that worked out pretty perfectly because now it's time for me to get my food ready. That is a lot of cheeseburgers and fries, man. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot how loud Sunny Eclipse was, but hey, we got our food. I got the Mickey Monster Mash Burger. I think I got that right. I got Mickey Space on here, potatoes, sriracha aioli, and Munster cheese. Get it? Of course, what would a theme park vlog be if I didn't eat this on camera in front of you? I didn't get napkins. So the burger was a, it was a burger. <laughs> it just had some potatoes and some sriracha sauce, which is fine. Cosmic Rays isn't really somewhere I try to go all the time, but I saw a Halloween item and I thought, oh, we're starting to get Halloween food now, which is cool. But I wish, I wish all of the food places had it because Pecos Bill has the Hades nachos, which I love, I love, I love. And they're doing the decorations pretty soon, actually. So I'll definitely be finding my way back here to the Magic Kingdom soon once they decorate it for Halloween and we get those sweet, delicious Hades nachos. But now that we're here, it is time to figure out what we're gonna do here at the Magic Kingdom because I am definitely seeing the crowds, I'm definitely feeling the crowds, but the lines still don't look terrible. The longest wait time is 55 minutes for Seven Dwarves, which isn't that bad, honestly. Like I said, the longest wait right now is 55 minutes for Seven Dwarves, which the line kind of sticks out to all the way down over there. I think that's the worst part of social distancing right now is just like a lot of the lines end up being really, really long and out in the sun. More often than not, my experience has been that it's never as long as they post. So I actually might be inclined to try to ride Seven Dwarves today, but there is a ride that I'm heading to now that I have actually not been on in a very, very long time. It's one I uh, tend to avoid, to be honest with you. But I felt like today I wanted to ride it. So let's head over to It's a Small World. Oh my gosh, we live in a world where It's a Small World has a bigger weight than Peter Pan. Small World is 45 minutes and Peter Pan is 30 minutes. If I'm gonna wait in a really, really long line for a ride, I think I'd rather it be a ride that I'm actually interested in riding, <laughs> that I actually want to ride on any given day. I'm willing to do it just because I want to see how genuine that wait time is, but we're gonna head back over to Seven Dwarves Mine Train and wait it out. Here we go. Walking to, where, where are we walking through? All the way down this way? Okay, by the, oh gosh, I don't, the line is, a lot longer than I thought it was. I feel like an idiot. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank God. It's the end of the line. <laughs> we have found the end of the line for Seven Dwarves. Hi there. <laughs> Let's uh, do this thing. Woohoo! All right, we're heading into the indoor part of the queue and it has been about 23 minutes. Not bad, I would say. Does anyone know how long the screens have been gone here? Remember when it was like the screens, it was like the river and you would like put your hand in here? I mean, obviously we're not putting our hands in there now, but interesting to see how they changed that. I wonder if they changed that when the parks reopened. Heading into the vault, got the key here. Also, I'm obsessed with the fact that this is like an actual door and that they close. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. 35 minutes, not bad. Very sudden stop. 
It's a fun ride. It's a fun little ride. I'm glad I waited in line for it. So that wasn't as bad as I thought. It was only about 35 minutes to get on to Seven Dwarves, which is the longest wait time here at the park, or at least the longest posted wait time. So I, I feel kind of on top of the world. I feel on top of myself. So I feel kind of on top of the world. I feel ready to take on the next ride, see how long that is. Nothing's as long as that. I was in line for the ride and I was looking around and I'm like, you know what? The park is busy. There are a lot of people here. The lines are long for the rides and stuff like that and food, but it doesn't feel chaotic. You know what I mean? And like, as much as I love Universal, Saturday felt chaotic. Saturday felt like, oh my gosh, look at all these people everywhere and stuff like that. It feels more organized here. And I think maybe part of that is because of the reservation system. They kind of know how many people are coming and what to expect. I think having the feeling of it being less crazy, especially now in this COVID era, makes your park going experience a little better. I think there's just a lot of sticker shock going around right now where you see the lines for rides and you're like, oh my gosh. Like for example, this is the line for the carousel. It starts all the way over here and goes all the way down over there. Now, if you were walking and you were like, you know what, I just wanna hop on the carousel, which is normally like a five minute wait any other day, and you see this, would you wanna ride it? Not really, right? You know, I haven't seen the Enchanted Tiki Room in a hot minute. Let's go ahead and check it out. Also, because I think it's starting to rain, or at least it's like raining in this one particular spot. How do they socially distance Tiki Room? Well, I guess I'm gonna, guess, I guess, hey, I'm gonna try and sit here, I guess. All right, so obviously I wanna show you guys the Tiki Room, but your boy will totally get copyright flagged for the music. So I'm just gonna like sing the songs from the Tiki Room and I hope it sounds good. I hope it's good enough for you guys. Uh, here we go. In the tiki 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 room. In the tiki 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 room. Where the ba-ba-ba and the flowers groom. And the birds they sing to tiki room. A tiki tiki tiki. Oh, let's sing like the birds. Tweet, 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 tweet. Also, I like that you can hear like the tick 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 of the robots. Our mateys, this be the queue line for pirates of the Caribbean. And this is the wait for Jungle Cruise. It says so, but there, let's zoom in. 55 minutes. This is what you're looking at for a 55 minute wait, Jungle Cruise. All right, the characters came out again. That's good, I was in the mood to see some characters. We got Goofy, Max, Claire Bell Cow, how you doing? Just to give you guys a little wait time update, things are looking pretty manageable on my end. Big Thunder Mountain is at a 30 minute wait, so we're gonna try that out now. Hopefully it's actually less than 30 minutes and I have a feeling it will. I think I'm gonna do like maybe one or two more rides, look around, see if there's any other things I wanna see and then get on out of here. I mean, overall, yeah, it's like crowded, but it's not like crazy, you know what I mean? So that's a good thing. Okay, I know it's a little hard to tell, but there's a little consistent drip of rain. It is, it's raining, but not like crazy rain. I can't help but curse myself because I come to these parks every day with this backpack filled with nothing. It's just to hold my camera when I'm done, when I should be packing this with a raincoat because this happens all the time. It has been about seven minutes and we are at this part of the queue. Not too bad, I'd say. <laughs> all right, we did get row one though. I've uh, never sat in row one for this ride, so we'll see how that goes. We're sitting right with the, whoa. We're gonna get wet, aren't we? Okay, we're putting the uh, big camera away because I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know if you can tell, but it is getting progressively rainier and rainier. I've, uh, what am I, oh crap, I gotta get out of here. Wow, 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 look at that. We got an empty Magic Kingdom hub. <laughs> Only took some rain to clear everybody out. I think I've seen what I needed to see. I rode two big rides. I got to see some characters. I walked around the park. I had some food. I had a pretty quick 
an easy jump into the Magic Kingdom today, I'm satisfied. Are you satisfied? Because I'm satisfied. Let's get out of here. Boom. Labor Day Monday. You know, I will say, I understand that not everything can be open during this time, but I think there's a big foul that Casey's Corner and Plaza Ice Cream are not open. I think this doesn't make any sense. I think these are the two of the most popular spots. And come on, who doesn't want corn dog nuggets? Oh, look at this. Crystal Castle. Let's see how much money this is. Oh, Jesus Christ. $35,000. Payment plan. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Private monorail green for me. Yes. I wanted to take the resort monorail so I could sit in the AC and talk about my thoughts of visiting Magic Kingdom on Labor Day weekend because honestly, it was pretty solid. It felt like a normal weekend, which is really, really nice. And like, obviously, it's Labor Day, duh, it's gonna be busy. But this is the first Labor Day weekend. This is the first major holiday weekend with social distancing and the masks and everything that they're doing now, which they're probably gonna be doing for a little while, at least until the end of the year. So we still gotta get Columbus Day weekend. We still have to get Christmas, all that stuff. So, you know, I don't think you need to scoff off videos like this where people are going to the parks and seeing how busy it is. It's not so much that we just want to see how busy it is. I want to see how these places are handling this new world that we live in. And honestly, I gotta say Disney's rocketing, man. Like, <laughs> my gripes with the park pass system aside, once you're inside the park, it really just feels like a normal time. And that's amazing. If you are someone who is worried about coming to the parks during the holiday weekend, or more particularly, if you're worried about coming to Disney during the holiday weekend, about the crowds, and maybe feeling like you're not gonna be able to see everything at the park you choose to go to, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, that's not gonna be an issue. And I'm just gonna say this for me, because I feel like I need to say it, Magic Kingdom, you are a good park, okay? I, I do enjoy Magic Kingdom. It is a fantastic feeling to go there. I just wish that you guys had the Indiana Jones ride and the Matterhorn, and the Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. And like, just put like Guardians of the Galaxy right in the middle of the park for me too. Then you'd be really perfect. Okay, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>